vegetarians have a lower chance of developing cancer, according to a recent study conducted by Oxford University researchers. Red meat is a good source of protein, vitamins, and minerals, but eating a lot of beef, ham, and pork may increase your risk of colorectal cancer. These days, more people are choosing to eat less meat. Motivated by ethical or health concerns, they tend to follow diets with limited or absolutely zero meat intake. New scientific discoveries are suggesting that they might be right to a certain extent, as plant-based diets seem to promote better health outcomes and fend off many diseases. People who are committed to a vegetarian diet have a 14% lower cancer risk than meat eaters, and 14% is a lot when we're talking about hundreds of millions of people around the world who might be diagnosed with cancer in their future. In a large British study, scientists analyzed data from 47,000 people. They studied their dietary habits, health records, and lifestyles, and presented several interesting findings. Pescatarians, people who add fish and seafood to their vegetarian diet, had a 10% reduced risk of developing cancer. Low meat eaters, people who consume meat five or fewer times a week, had a 2% lower risk of developing cancer. Scientists also found that vegetarian women were 18% less likely to develop breast cancer when they get older. Vegetarian men also had a 31% lower risk of developing prostate cancer. The World Health Organization classified meat as group one carcinogenic to humans. This category is used when there is sufficient evidence of cancer incidence in humans due to processed meat consumption. But the scientists also warned that we shouldn't jump directly to conclusions. If you still want to eat meat and you currently eat more than 90 grams of red and processed meat a day, experts recommend that you cut your daily intake down to 70 grams or fewer. This could help reduce your risk of bowel cancer. As for children over five, a balanced diet is very important for their growth. This means that meat or other sources of protein should be included in their diet. While the data shows that dietary habits and cancer occurrence are correlated in the study, smoking, body fat, and body mass index also could play a role. This study is not the first to tackle this issue. Other studies have warned about the negative impact of red and processed meat intake, especially in causing different types of cancer, and less meat means more vegetables and fruit intake. This is bad news for cancer because plant-based foods contain fiber, and we know from studies that fiber helps remove excess hormones that could lead to cancer. Even colors can play a role in the fight against cancer. Vegetarian people eat a larger variety of vegetables and fruits, which means that the body will consume more color pigments. Pigments like beta-carotene and lysipine can help reduce cancer. Other studies have linked high-fat dairy products to breast and prostate cancers. One cup of cow's milk per day can increase the risk of breast cancer by 50%. What about you? Would you change your diet for ethical or medical reasons? Share your story in the comments section.